Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a really fun video plan today. I thought that it would be fun to bring you along to set up my coffee bar for Christmas. We have this new coffee station set up that, well, we've had the coffee station itself for a couple of months, but I've been slowly working on putting it together, collecting pieces, and I'm really excited about how it turned out. It's right back here, just a little sneak peek. I love the way that it turned out and I'm so excited to share it with you and just relax in an unsponsored friends hanging out. This is how we would interact if you were at my house helping me decorate right now type of video. I do know that I've had a ton of sponsored content lately and I appreciate you guys so much for watching that, supporting the sponsors which supports my channel and hanging in there with me through the busiest time of year. I know we are all feeling how busy our schedules get during the holiday season and so hopefully this is just a little more laid back relaxed a nice little bonus video for you so anyway I hope that you all enjoy I love the way it turned out I'm excited to share these ideas with you and I'm excited to just hang out today so anyway I am gonna go through like the whole how we found our coffee station where we found it I get a ton of questions about it every single time that it's it's in a video and then we're gonna make some changes to it and then we're going to decorate for Christmas and I cannot wait for you to see how this turned out and what it looks like right now okay so we started off by heading to home goods and this is my worst kept secret is that you can find some great furniture pieces at stores like home goods home sense TJ Maxx and Marshall's we were actually browsing in the home sense next to that home goods and came across this absolutely stunning stunning wood cabinet. It's solid wood on the bottom. It has a marble top. I loved the curved edges and the modern lines to it, but it still felt like a timeless piece to me. I love the storage on the inside. It was just absolutely gorgeous, but it did have a very small chip on the underside of the marble top. And since it was front facing, we went ahead and asked for a discount. This is my number one tip when furniture shopping at these stores. If you find any imperfections, ask for a discount we got $20 off of this for that super tiny not even noticeable chip so we went ahead and loaded it into our car took it home and set it up in our kitchen and it is just stunning I love the contrast of that dark wood and the marble top complements our countertops it's the perfect depth and length for a coffee station so we're gonna set it up for Christmas today and make it nice and festive for all of our holiday drinks this season so we got the cabinet home and put it into this space right here and it has worked out perfectly for us as a coffee station we love the extra storage with the cabinet doors that close all the way at first I was thinking I wanted some glass paned ones but I'm so glad that we got a solid wood piece because we use that for ugly storage so it just works out perfectly for us I love that the tone of the wood is in contrast to our new light floors it really pops but without standing out too much and overwhelming the space it just kind of fits and looks like it was always supposed to be here and it was just such a find we have gotten so lucky at stores like home sense and home goods and tj maxx whenever we have a specific furniture piece in mind i feel like we always find it at those stores it does take a little bit of hunting and sometimes a little bit of time but in my opinion it's totally worth it especially because we almost always get a deal on it so anyway this is working out perfectly for our coffee station and when we set this up in here I did want to do a window pane mirror over it instead of like a piece of artwork or even a mug rack or anything like that just because we have such limited natural light sources throughout our entire home but especially here in the kitchen this is a long rectangular narrow space that flows from the stove top and the fridge at one end into an eating dining area and then ending with our laundry closet and our pantry so one half of this rectangular room has no windows in it at all really the only light source in this space is the window over top of our kitchen sink so I wanted to introduce a mirror into this space to reflect that natural light and make the space feel 
brighter and bigger and I wanted to do a window pane mirror specifically to mimic the look of a window and make it seem like it was always there it was supposed to be there so I wasn't finding exactly what I was wanting I've been on the hunt but I did find this placeholder back when I was doing our dining room makeover and I also set up the coffee station and I always knew that it would just be a placeholder I think it was like 20 or 25 dollars I found it at home goods I believe and we hung it up on the wall it's beautiful it's a great size it is exactly the look that we were going for except that it has this white frame and so it kind of just melts into the wall and doesn't do exactly what I thought that it should so I've just been on the hunt ever since and I finally came across the what I hope is the perfect mirror on clearance at Kirkland's and we're gonna go ahead and swap that out now and then officially set up our Christmas coffee station so let me show you this mirror tell you what the plan is to hang it and let's get that on the wall and see how it looks so here is the new mirror i did find it on clearance for 74.97 at kirkland's and you can see just in comparison to this square one right here that it stands out a lot more on the white but also i feel like the scale of it might be better for this space because this is such a large stretch of what feels like blank wall i did do this wood paint paneling accent a couple of months ago and I love the texture that that adds but the wall is still a big white wall so I was thinking that this would break it up a bit I love the black frame and I love the size although I am a little bit concerned that it might be too big for this particular cabinet because it looks like it's the same exact width but we'll get it up there and we'll see what it looks like I do also really love this rounded detail at the top we have rounded rounded corners on the cabinet and then also a round pedestal dining table so I feel like that ties in with that and makes things feel less angular and just just a little softer of a look you know but anyway there are this is heavy and there's two brackets back here to hang it so I think my best bet is to use some heavy duty picture hanging wire since we do have the texture with the wooden accent wall there and then just get that into a stud and use the picture hanging wire to make sure that it is as supported as it can be but anyway we're going to go ahead and swap this out and see what it looks like How perfect is this? It looks so good. I feel like it makes the cabinet itself look like it's a larger scale even though it's not. It just takes up so much more of that wall space and does exactly what we were hoping to. I hung this up and Derek came in and was like, that is beautiful. And usually he doesn't comment on things like that. So I love it. I think that this was a good find and it's going to be a permanent fixture. And now we can decorate this for 
Christmas and make it match the rest of the kitchen. Okay, so something that looks this beautiful, I feel like deserves to have really beautiful holiday decor and a holiday setup. This is probably one of the most used areas of our home. We are a coffee loving family, especially a holiday coffee loving family. And this gets a ton of use every single day. It's super functional and a high traffic area. And then it's also now super beautiful. And I just want to continue that and have fun with it this season. It's the first year that we've ever had this specific coffee bar and this kind of setup here in general and I'm loving the way that it looks, Derek's loving the way that it looks and so we are going all in. So I've actually had my eye on this gingerbread house cookie jar from Pottery Barn for like two or three years now. I feel like it goes viral every single year since TikTok has existed. And so once it goes viral, it sells out. It can be really hard to get your hands on. And it is a little bit of a splurge, but we were recently in an area that had a Pottery Barn store. So we went in on a whim and they actually had the entire gingerbread collection and seeing it and touching it and like just being around it in person, it felt worth it to us. So we got the Pottery Barn gingerbread cookie jar. How cute is this? It is so pretty. And actually Derek was the one that was like, we are getting it. He fell in love with it. He felt like it was an heirloom piece and it is a growing collection in the Pottery Barn catalog. So he thought that it would be fun to add a couple of pieces every year and have it be something that our children remember as they grow up through their childhood and then they want to have passed on to them and they can use when they have their own homes and they have their own children and I completely agreed with him it definitely is of that quality and it would be fun to have something like that I feel like for our generation that's like the department 56 Christmas village all of our grandparents and parents had that that was like the quintessential Christmas decor when we were growing up that in the those little candle lights that our parents would put in like the windows so you could see them from the street and it's just like a single taper candle on like a little you know what I'm talking about but anyway this gingerbread collection is going to be that for us and our kids so we are going to do a little gingerbread setup here and complete this Christmas coffee bar You cannot tell me that this is not the cutest thing. I love it so much. It is so Christmas, like the embodiment of Christmas to me. I'm so happy with it. I know it's pretty simple, especially compared to some things that you see on like TikTok, Instagram Reels, things like that, but it's a high traffic area. We want it to stay functional, but still be super cute and festive. I do feel though that this now looks pretty empty. And this just almost looks random because this looks so empty. So I have an idea. In my DIY Christmas decor video, I made a swag that we actually hung above our kitchen window and I love it. I love the idea. It was super easy to do and it made such a high impact. I keep looking over here because it's over there. But anyway, I was thinking I could make one for here. I don't really wanna put a huge wreath on it because I don't want to take up all of the mirror space and that kind of defeats the purpose of having the mirror to reflect the light and I don't want to do a full-on garland over the mirror because I don't want it to compete 
with the garland that we have in the doorway from my kitchen decorating video. So I thought I'll just make a swag for it. So I do have these and I actually picked them up from Kirkland's pretty early in the season. This is a new stem from the Norfolk Pine collection at Kirkland's. It's a really popular collection. It sells out every year. It's an A floral dupe and it sells out for a reason. It's so beautiful, but these are such like big full stems. They have that Norfolk pine, the real touch, real feel. And some of the garland in the doorway there is the Norfolk pine garland. So it would tie in with that. It also has red berries. It is so pretty and little pine cones. And we also had pine cones in the garland of the doorway. So I thought this would be perfect. It's got everything in it. I don't need to put anything extra, just two stems and maybe a bow. So I have this gold bow from my Christmas decor last year. I think I originally got them at Home Goods in a two pack and one of them is hanging on that garland in the doorway. So I thought, here's the greenery from the garland, here's a bow from the garland. It's a very similar look without matching completely and I feel like it'll tie in both spaces and make them look and feel like they're part of the same kind of cohesive area. So anyway, my plan is to just attach these the same way I did in that DIY video. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It is so pretty and I feel like it does complement the garland really nicely without matching it exactly, but I cannot decide. So should it go here across like this top portion of the actual mirror or should I hang it here and kind of cover that top like rounded area, what would you guys do? I have a three pound command hook here. I'm gonna ask Derek his opinion and then I'm gonna put it up and see how it looks. Stand right here. Okay. Okay. Do you think it would look better here? Uh -huh. Or up there? I can like at the top, I think. At the very top? I think so. Not okay. here? Yeah, I think I like it up. Of course you do. <laughs> I think I have to stand on a chair to get up there. You think this will, like the very, very top, or like put, the, put the command strip here and let it, oh, of course I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most Derek thing I've ever seen you do. Oh uh, yeah, okay, so like up on top of it, or like right put there, the command fine. strip there and but let it kind of cover that top. Yeah. That works. Okay. All right, you can go. <laughs> he set up at the top, so I'm going to try to put it up there.
this is just so cute. I'm going to have so much fun with this and I'm so glad that I finally like have this put together and I feel confident about this space, you know, but anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed setting up our coffee station today and decorating it for the Christmas season and making it feel like it fit in better with our kitchen decor. If you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That always helps my channel a ton and subscribe if you aren't already. We've got tons of holiday content coming. We're not stopping anytime soon, but anyway, thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me today and I'll see you all in the next one.